Welcome back to the build. Uh, debated on whether I was going to make a video about this or not, but today I'm piddling around doing stairs. I have started to build the permanent staircase in the basement, which is for kind of a utility staircase, so it doesn't need to be all fancy, but I've never done this, so here's what I'm doing. Uh, I put in permanent risers, which I'll show you in a second. We're going to paint those the same color as the wall, and then I went and got just the cheapest pine paint grade treads I could get at Lowe's. Uh, they already have the bull nose on the front, so they're gonna work just fine. And I'm actually gonna stain them. I've been staining them to match our doors and they're turning out surprisingly okay. So I think I'm gonna cut one or two of these, put them in, and if they look good, I'll poly them maybe five times, you know, five coats of poly. And we'll just roll with that. Um, like I said, it's a basement staircase. I know that it's a bit tedious to cut stair treads and get them right, so I've been watching a few videos. Uh, we're gonna basically uh, rip a quarter inch off the back so we get the correct projection of the overhang, the, the nosing. Cannot overhang the riser by more than an inch and a quarter per code. Currently, this overhangs the riser by an inch and a half, so I have to rip this quarter inch off and we're going to do a five degree back bevel so we have a nice tight fit there then we have to measure the angles this way on each side do that same cut five degree back bevel to try and get a perfect fit within a, a 32nd to a 16th on each side um, these are 48 inches wide from the store I need about 44 and a half to 44 and three quarters So that gives me enough meat on the each end that I can custom cut that angle and fit each tread And then we're going to fasten them to the risers from the back underneath with a whole bunch of liquid nails construction adhesive and I'll show you that as we go. So right now I've just stained four of these I've got nine to go but first I'm gonna practice on these four. I think those turned out better than I anticipated. For paint grade wood, I think it'll look really, really nice once uh, we get coats of poly on it. I'm probably gonna do five coats of poly on the tread part, well, one single coat on the entire thing just to seal the whole, all the ends. Got all the risers primed, caulked, pretty much fitted pretty well to the wall. And uh, now I'm going to start putting a couple coats of paint on these risers to match the wall. You can see where they're different when we were painting the wall. So I'm going to clean all this up and get all the risers ready. Then I'll start fitting the treads and get ready to cut those. Here's a little off cut I saved for paint stir because you never know. I think they even charge for paint stirring sticks now when you get paint, I don't know. So, there you go. Got the treads set up outside on the sawhorses. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a couple coats of poly on the uh, underneath, the side that's not stained, just to get everything sealed up, so. Once they're installed, you know, once I get them cut to uh, size and fit, then we'll put a little thin coat of poly on the ends and all the cut pieces as well. So all six sides are sealed. All right, so we're gonna stir up some poly here. Yeah, it's got some nice thick stuff at the bottom. 
Gonna get all that mixed in real good. These five in one painter's tools are awesome. I use it for all kinds of stuff, not just paint. Like picking polyurethane boogers out of your paint spout. All right, now we're ready to spray. coats let this one dry and then tomorrow we'll start cutting to fit and putting them in I don't know I think they turned out pretty nice well so far I have to call this little experiment with staining paint grade steps a big success these look really nice in my opinion. And uh, the stain worked well, the poly is working well. So I'm just gonna let this dry, hit it with some 400 grit to knock the bumps off and do that four more times over the next couple days and just build up a nice tread wear layer of polyurethane. And we'll go with that and see, uh, see what we end up with in the end. Happy. Trying not to bang up the wall. Okay. That's pretty square. It's actually really square on that side. Not so much on that side. We've got a bit of a gap here, so we need to uh, figure out our angle. Get the angle like that. Tighten this down. Typically, I would just run this through the table saw, but we're going to do a five degree back bevel just so we have a little room to put glue and have it fit a little nicer. So, if I'm going to do that, my blade angle actually goes this way, which means I have to cut this face down. And that's, I don't want to really scratch up the surface that I just did, so we will put a little bit of tape on it. Well, this is where your 12-inch sliding compound miter saw comes in very handy, cutting a full-depth stair tread. Sweet. Okay, little update. I've got uh, five of these treads installed. And uh, here's what I did. Put two strips of tape so that when I flip it over on the table saw, I can slide it and I don't scratch up the surface that I've already finished. Uh, 
and I did a, I took a quarter inch off because to account for the thickness of my risers so that my overhang on the riser is within code. So it overhangs like an inch and an eighth all the way. And it can't overhang more than an inch and a quarter. So, and it has to overhang at least an inch or something like that, I don't know. Anyway, it's all right. Put a five degree back bevel on it <clears throat> so that when we lay it down, it's got room for glue to goop in there and helps make it a tighter fit. On the ends, I'm cutting, once I cut these to the right length, I'm cutting about a two degree, two and a half degree back bevel on it. And that just helps it sit like uh, when you, when you uh, sit it down in, you're not fighting with that bottom corner. So if that makes sense. Uh, other thing I did was use some Johnson paste wax and just wax down the deck of the table saw. Hit it with some steel wool first. It makes it nice and slick so everything slides really well. All right, here we are. Uh, these are the, still the temporary treads. Risers are all in and painted. And I've got five of these installed so far and then put cardboard down so we're not ruining the surface while we're still under construction, but that's going well. I'll show you that, how I'm doing that here in a second. This is the one I just cut with the uh, new stair jig and it fits perfectly. It's just a little wobbly. All right, now we're gonna clamp. Hey, it's working. All right, took that bow out. Wow, all right, now I'm just gonna pin it and uh, hopefully it doesn't creak. What I'm doing is, this is the bottom of my clamp that is clamping the tread down. I'm going to go in from the back of the riser into the tread with some 18-gauge uh, brads. Typically, I only put about three in each side, but that really needs to be held down. I'm going to leave those clamps on there until the glue dries probably overnight, and that should solve the problem. Last one. That one there. Tight there. Good. Tighten this. Line up the backs. This right here is where there was a sticker, like a price tag or something. So I'm just gonna cut off each end. Looks good to me. Score a line. Score line, ooh, score line here. Perfect line. Pro tip, use a good blade with a lot of teeth, made for woodworking. Makes super good cuts. Okay. 
pull off the glue booger. Another little thing I've, I've been doing, putting some weight on it. And that seems to help. All right, my little protector. Okay, one more project finished. Mark that off as another thing that I've never done before, but I did it for the first time and it turned out really nice. Real happy with it. Uh, so the next thing I gotta do, put a handrail on the wall. As soon as I can get one, cause I gotta buy a 16 foot one. They seem to be kind of scarce around here. So I think I found one, but I gotta go get it. But anyway, that's gonna be the next thing. And then this stairway will be done for code. One last thing on the list for the certificate of occupancy, which is our goal right now, is getting all of those things done for code so we can get our final inspection. And then, uh, we're gonna, so that'll be like all the little trim things and little details don't matter right now. I'm just trying to get the, the code stuff done. But the stair jig worked really well. I'm gonna leave that a link to that separate little video I made uh, on how to make that real quick. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the next video is, but we got five or six different things going on at once around here. And uh, that's going to do it for this one. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.